everyone and welcome back to another episode of Jurassic World Alive, where we are sort of uh, doing a lot of uh, MLG stuff in the game at the moment. Like, I know it's from Fukuoka, oh, but god damn, does that not translate into English? <laughs> so I think at the moment when I'm recording this anyway, uh, the ones to go for is the deer. Uh, but we also have one new apex to unlock. Uh, which is great, because, I mean, if I wanted to, I could put it in my team. I could start putting boosts onto it if I really wanted to. However, uh, what, what level would it be? Like, level 25? If that, I think, was a 21 for unique, so it'll probably be level 25. So let's have a look. Which one is it? You already know from the thumbnail. It is the Ankus. The sister with looks at the one. <laughs> so, also people have, like, a level 30 referendums now. Like... How lucky did those guys get on the incubator, like the raids? Jesus. Anyway, Ankylosaur, or Ankylos looks. Oh, lovely, yes, look at it. Isn't it gorgeous? 420, hey, hey. <laughs> and what, that's 100 attack. And it is level 26. Okay, well, that's not so bad. We can definitely get it to level 27 uh, pretty quick. So I fought one of these, and I, at first I was thinking... Wow, okay, it's not that great. Most things have pierce, uh, so the armor doesn't really count for much. The crit's obviously basic. Uh, the speeds are, wouldn't be very good. It's an ankylosaur. Uh, and the attack's not incredible. Uh, the health is all right. Health is pretty decent. Um, so from base stats, I was like, eh, it doesn't look that great. But actually, where this thing comes into it is its moveset. So uh, you've got this alert instant shield strike. Um, which obviously has priority, and I think if you're, you know, you're above half health, you get a shield for 50% for four attacks for two turns. But if you're threatened, so you kind of want to save this for last, uh, you get 100% shield for four attacks, so it doesn't even matter if you have, if they do a counter, like, uh, to hurt you or whatever, doesn't matter. Uh, or for two turns. So even for two turns, if they hit you and did a counter from you hitting them, they're not doing any damage. Uh, the only thing is, it does have a delay of one. So as long as you survive for one, you're pretty gonna you're gonna survive for at least two or three, uh, minimum. Uh, yeah. Resilient shield and rampage and run is very good as well. Uh, like a good amount of damage, puts vulnerability on them, and you swap out. Um, and, you know, some swaps in and does damage to them, then they're gonna take a lot of damage because they're vulnerable. You get invincibility. You do have a chance of being stunned, which is the only weird thing when it comes to an apex. Most apexes don't have any chance of getting stunned. Uh, however, you will always be able to swap out. Um, you will never have your attack reduced, which we'll get into why that's really good, and vulnerability you're immune to. The only thing is a speed decrease, which is arguably not affect the Ankloss at all because you're gonna have priority um, at one time and you're never really wanting to go first because you want to counter because you have a raking counter so as long as they don't have a shield up um, you're gonna do a lot of damage um, because I think what is it it's just a f the full amount 1,100. You do your full amount of damage that bypasses armor. Um, and the thing with Ankylos is you just want to stay there, shield up, and you're good. If they swap out, you get invincibility. And I think, how long does the invincibility last for? Um, one turn. Okay, so even if you get stunned, at least then you're kind of okay as long as you've done priority. And another thing that is really good about this, as long as you've got over half health, um, so meaning when you swap in, uh, you know, full health. You just get invincibility for two turns. Uh, oh, sorry, one turn. But then you're unable to swap two turns. Um, and you have a chance of stunning them. So, you know, a lot of things now, like swap in and stun was quite useful. But now it's like, this has a fail safe. It can swap in and stun. And if that doesn't work, well, you've got a shield and invincibility. So, um, it's just, it's, it's all around like really good. Uh, I kind of want to see what I've got. I got one, I got 17 health boosts. I got six speed boosts and I've got one attack boost. So, uh, yeah, not the best. Uh, really, I want loads of attack. You want to get this up to about 2000 damage. Um, and then the rest, it doesn't really matter. I guess health is probably what you want to do. Maybe a little bit of speed, but do like 120 speed ish, 124, something like that might be good. Um, but what do I know, right? Uh, so we'll see if we can get this guy to, you know, an another level. Um, I highly doubt that, however. Uh, especially with 
confusions like that. Good God. Uh, so we've got two more of these pops. I wish I could trade Sticky Moloch DNA for Bumpy. I don't care if I have to trade like twice as much Sticky for Bumpy. I would do it. I wish there was some sort of market allowing me to do that. It's like swapping DNA for other things. But hang on. Uh, so we are... Ooh, we are in with a chance as long as we don't get two tens here. Uh, okay. Right. As long as we don't get another ten, we could get two pops. Please don't get a ten. Please. Okay, fine. One pop it is. Thanks, game. Thank you. I'm, I'm, I'm literally... Oh, no, I did it. Never mind. <laughs> I'm stupid. Because uh, it was 80, so yeah, we're just guaranteed it. First video recording. If I cough, I apologize. Just got to... Clear the windpipes. So we need 90. So what's the chances of getting a 50 and a 40, right? Very low. Uh, so we're probably not going to get to level 27. Um, okay. Well, you know, it, it builds you up to break you down, down, and it probably will do that. So let's uh, maybe, who knows, maybe... Ah! You know what? That's not so bad. I feel like they're actually being quite generous with the Anklos uh, and the other hybrid uh, fusions. I don't know why. I just feel like they are. I think it's because it costs so much to, to do it. Um, so I don't think it's luck. I think just generally. If somebody wants to data mine that, I'm sure they'll actually find that, you know, uniques are quite hard to get. But, a Apex, it's quite easy to get some good good pops on that. So we're, we're pretty close to level 27, and then we start to get into a range of, of being useful. So, let's have a look at our other dinosaurs that we have not hybridized yet. One of them being the remaining Apex. Oh, we've got two Apexes. Completely forgot about that. The, uh, I don't think we can actually do anything for him. I think you've just, yeah, okay, there's no fusions for that. That's a raid. However, there is this one, and I, I like I said in the last video, we did the deer, because sod it, right? I, like, I, I've seen this guy used, and it probably is really good, but at the same time, I don't mind using the deer. Maybe the deer is, like, not as good, but <laughs> it's level 30. I've already put boosts on it. I'm saving coin. I'm sorry, I'm not one of these amazing rich elites that uh, are like top 100 players who are in the, you know, the best alliances, who get the most rewards and just get richer and richer. Unfortunately, I'm not like that. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to stick with my deer, uh, my my peasant deer. Sorry, you uh, Jurassic World Alive elites. <laughs> so seeing that that, you know, is kind of the case. Uh, I don't really feel the need to actually level up Arctalus, whatever you want to call it. Arctales, Hercules. Also, you notice the lights on the, the purple? One of them's missing on the right. It's off center. Because the others are kind of like in the light. And the two, actually the bottom left and bottom right ones aren't. Okay, well, anyway, little things like that you pick up. Uh, we also do have a few fusions of this. The Glyptoceris. I don't even know where that came from. I think I did bump into one on the map, actually. We're too off another fusion, but hey-ho. It doesn't really matter. Is this thing used? Does this have a hybrid? I don't even think it has a hybrid, but... You know, as long as we unlock creatures, that's the main thing. I don't really care about uh, maxing stuff up. Uh, so that's those three. These guys, however... So we got a level... We need level 15. Uh, Ter Pteranodon Actalus, or whatever you're called. So we should be able to get to level 15. Which we can. Um, so, oh god. They're horrendous looking. They remind me of that Vin Diesel movie. What was it, like, Perfect Dark or something like that? Where they had, like, buzz saws or they, like, tore somebody apart. Almost like that, Skull Island had creatures like that as well, where they had a buzz saw and they, they chopped people up, which is lovely. Lovely game. Uh, game, movie. Uh, and this one as well, which seems very similar. So you need a level. Now this, I have not seen anybody use, even in the top levels. So I'm assuming they probably have it. Uh, maxed up or something like that, but they aren't using it. So I'm assuming it's not very good uh, I'd be very surprised if they if they didn't have it maxed up at this point it seems like a, a dinosaur or a creature just needs to come out for a day and um, Top levels already like yep. Yeah, we've got it maxed. It's fine. It's, it's rubbish. We don't need it Or it's, it's the best ever. No one else can use it. Ha <laughs> ha Something like that us elites of the uh, Jurassic World Alive community Yes <laughs> So, um, you know what, I might as well just level it up. I'm not really caring about this thing. It's like, well, if it's there, it's there. They're, they are, however, the reason why I've got so much of this DNA was they did, they were around an event. Um, so it's amazing that I've actually got to level 19. Uh, but they were, for some odd reason, uh, the, the, the reticle for it was so small that it didn't matter wherever you hit in it, you got a direct hit. Uh, so, 
Yes, there was that. So we're actually quite close to getting that to level 20. Uh, but really, uh, let's see if we've got anything on the map. Oh, lovely Dimetrodon Junto. It actually... I only have 77,000 because I'm leveling up the uh, hybrid for the mono whatever it is. Um, ooh, ooh, hold on. We've got Nazuda Ceratops. But, uh, you know, we'll, we'll go for me the melee. If the, the thing is, if there's a rare, you may as well just dart it, right? Uh, also, um, I swapped to a new iPad. So I had to change the, uh, the dart thing because I think it was set to rookie or something like that. I have no idea what I normally set it to, but I think this is veteran. Um... Which just means it's like as soon as you take your finger off, you know, the screen, the the thing just comes to an abrupt stop. There's no like, hey, you're flying around. Hey, look, it's the thing. Sweet, we need that. Speak of the devil. Uh, this guy also has really small, uh, a really small radical. So no matter where I seem to hit it, I, like you can see there, I didn't seem to be anywhere near the middle. Um, it's just, it, it's very liberal. It, it's like, yeah, whatevs. You get direct hit. It's beautiful. It was the same with that little one. I, mean, I don't know whether that's a glitch or whether they're going to fix it. Or just because it's so small that they're being quite nice with it. And there you go. Actually, I think we maxed that, did we? 390? 450s for comments so for 390. We may have even maxed that. I have no idea. Uh, but there you go. That's that. Your little glip to down there. So, one thing I wanted to focus on is the new team we've got. Because I don't think I can say what's coming up in the... In the next sort of uh, event or whatever. I haven't been given that yet. So there's no point really doing that. So my team's had a little bit of a shuffle round. But uh, Draco Rex is still here. Or the Draco Phosphora, whatever it is. Faux Rex. It's probably one thing I might I might switch. Uh, the, the Constrictor as well. Uh, Referantum, my build for Referantum. It is 29. So it's it's pretty decent. Uh, I don't, don't think I can put anything else on it just yet. No, I can't. So we've got two Fiddy, which is probably a little bit much attacked. Maybe too much. But then again, you know, it's going to get to level 30, so it's 2,600. So as long as we do super distraction, we're doing a lot of damage. And the Cunning Rampage is very good. Uh, so we put it speed up because it's, you kind of actually do want the speed if you can. It's not the fastest thing in the world. It's not going to outspeed like, a, you know, some max speed Magnetators or, or God knows what else is out there that's super quick. Uh, Gorgo as well is level 30, so I thought we may as well max him up. So we've got 7,100. Again, I just copied something from like a top level. You know, the speed, it's all right on the lower end of most things. But, you know, if I am quicker, hey ho. And, speed, you know, if I'm not quicker, then I can go for devious whatever it is. Cautious impacts. Give me 10%. So it's an extra 13, which takes me to 44 speed, which is pretty good. Pretty good. It's not going to, you know, outspeed things that are right. That's the fastest thing. But for most middle tier creatures, it's going to outspeed it. Uh, and the rest of the team you've kind of seen before, uh, Spino Spinosaurus or Sp uh, Scorpius Rex Gen 3 is used a lot. Uh, Indotaurus is used a lot. Uh, everything else is kind of deba debatable. Uh, basically, if we switch out um, you for you, you for you, and then switch you back in, uh, there from le the, half the left screen, uh, the 2x2 uh, two two on the left, is basically things that everyone uses. Referantum, Gorgo Trebex, Indotaurus, and Scorpius Rex Gen 3. And then the 2x2 two two on the right, Forex, Spinal Constrictor, Deer, and Utaranix aren't really used by much. So, as you could probably guess, it's still not going the best in the world. But, you know, we do this for fun. And um, if, I, if I had all the resources in the world, obviously the Ankylos would be there. And maybe even... I'll probably switch out the Scorpius for... You know what? Yeah, we're going to do it. We're going to switch out the Forex. Because I'm not really too fussed. Hydra Boa as well. Hydra Boa is used a lot. However, I just don't really have the right boosts for it at the moment. Um, but you know what? I'm, I'm tempted to use the Ankylosaurus. Ankylos. You know, whatever. We could go in to our battles. We can go into the leaderboard. And, you know, just see King Drenor. What, what, what is this guy using? So, we have the Ankylos uh, maxed up. We have Referantum. We have Indotaurus. However, there's a couple of things like the, the para, which I guess is really good, actually. Because uh, you swap in and you do an attack right away, um, which is pretty decent. Uh, 2,800? Yeah, why not? Um, the Ankylos, yeah, max attack. I thought that would be the case. Taking around about 6,300 at level 30. So maybe it's only got like, you know, it's probably only got 5 or 10 uh, health boosts on it. And then it's got 20 attack boosts. Just because with the counter... And that's what you're going to be doing. And it goes through armor. 
Yeah, you kind of need that. So that kind of makes sense. So without further ado, let's see if we can get some Ankylos battles, shall we? Right. Gyrosphere Depot. Defeat three creatures. Right. We do have the Referantum. Uh, we do have Indotaurus. But then we got a mix from the other side. Uh, Utaranix and the deer. I feel like everyone opens with Indotaurus, right? That's that's what people do. I don't. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm not sure. We'll we'll go with Indotaurus. It's still not max level. Still not quite there. Um, and actually, Trichosaur really couldn't get better. Actually, so we may as well just go for a regular hit because he's gonna go through our block. Uh, is there anything? I mean, I guess I could have switched to Referantum, but then he's just gonna cleanse it, isn't he? Oh, we got unlucky. Uh, with 20% chance for the crit. Uh, also, I've taken all of the health off my uh, Indotaurus, which is, oh, sorry, Indotaurus, my uh, Trico. In fact, what we could do, actually saying that, is, um, hmm, he's probably going to go for invincibility. I shouldn't have done that. Uh, but hey, oh, actually he didn't. So it's it's not so bad. I was thinking if he, if he swaps out, he's going to go for cloak. I'm going to get a free cloak, so I may as well just do it. Uh, but then I thought, wait, if he does go for invincibility... Ooh, but then again, even if I went for my lowest attack, it would have killed him. Uh, oh, here's a Mortem Rex. Uh, he's probably going to go for the priority uh, in doing that. Um, I'm actually going to switch to Referantum. Uh, and then he's going to do no damage to me. Because I think Mortem doesn't have any resistance uh, to my distraction. I don't think. No, it doesn't. And will it go for priority? It doesn't go for priority. Interesting. Okay, okay. Um, we alert counter it anyway, which is great. Um, and now we can go for our own priority if we wanted to. We could even do this one. Um, there's no chance to stun him. And he could have his max attack. So you know what? Oh, interesting. Interesting. Okay. Probably should have done my priority then. Uh, because... Oh, he did have a chance to stun me, however. Yeah, I've got 75% chance. So now he's he's going to get that. He's also getting the alert nullification. Uh, so yeah, he's uh, it's not looking so good. And I may as well just go for this. He, he might go for shield, which he didn't actually even do. Um, so we do like a bunch of damage here. 3,500. And it's going to go for shield. Okay, which does basically nothing. And now I can switch out. Uh, if I wanted to, I think. Yeah, the amount of... The amount of attack this thing's losing now is, uh, is yeah, it's not very good. Uh, however, I kind of want to save Referantum. Uh, so I'm just going to use Test of Corbinus and just, you know, whittle it down as it were. So he basically does no damage to me. And I can get a free, like, 300 extra health on this. 400, I should say. Uh, and we may as well slow it down. Yeah, you're going to go for Taunting Shield again. That's fine. So I'm going to go for Cleansing Decelerating. Then I'm going to go for Shield. And then I'm going to go for Devastating. And that should, I think, kill him? I could be wrong, but... Yes, that should... Ooh, maybe it won't. It won't, actually. Yes, because that was one and a half, and I'm going to do three times that. So it's only 1,800 damage I'm going to do to him. So he will be left with a tiny bit of health. Uh, and now he gets to do his actual hit, which is now we're going to do a lot. Uh, which is all right. <laughs> Sorry, got a frog in my throat. It's brilliant. Uh, so now, yeah, I thought it'd be, it'd be left with a tiny bit of health. Just a teeny wincy bit. Um, probably should have just slowed his attack, his thing down anyway. Uh, so you know what it is? I'm just going to go for, you know, the regular. Hopefully I can actually get it first. I'm clicking like a madman. And we do get it first, which is great. Okay. So we're 2-0 up. It's not looking too bad, but things can go either way at this point. I could still lose 3-2. Uh, but we'll see how it goes. So Mortem Rex... Uh, comes in, uh, does not have a priority, um, and I am quicker. So what I, he could do is actually go for the 5,000, expecting me to go for that, or he could just go for his instant. Uh, oh, that's a shame. That's a shame. It was 50-50. I was thinking I could just go for Devastating and kill him if he's going to predict me going for that. Uh, but hey-ho, that, that, that is the way it goes sometimes. So, uh, I'm gonna go for Utoranix. Now, what I can do here is go for... I mean, what's the cooldown? Is it two? It's two. Yeah, okay. So we're gonna reduce his damage, and we're also gonna get rid of that attack increase. We could've went for the other one and done more damage, but this way, he actually doesn't even get his attack bonus. Uh, and now, I don't know what it has. Now, if it's got, like, a Ceramagnus or something, that's a bit annoying. Um, but we'll see what he's got. Oh, come on! What are the chances? 
Oh, and he just kills me. Oh, that was very unlucky. Wow. Okay, that was... That was nasty. Oh, that was really, 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 really nasty. Um, so, yeah, he's won. Like I said, I, you know, there's a chance. There's a chance. Like, if, if he had that freaking, you know, what you call it, which he actually did have, uh, cleanse reduced damage. It's going to do a big hit. That is fine. Um, now, we don't have a priority. Um, however... What we can do is hope that he's just going to bleed out here. So if I go for alert nullification, uh, he's probably going to go for his speedy, I think. Uh, so I'm just going to alert nullifying. I, I am... I don't think there's... I mean, does he resist the damage reduction? He doesn't resist. But I am vulnerable, so... I don't know. It's yeah, and then he's gonna be quicker anyway. The damage over time. It's it's this whole match has been incredibly close. Um, yeah, and there it is. So he is quicker, um, and he he's probably gonna cleanse himself and do two thousand. Okay, here it is. The biggest play. Um, right. That's annoying. That is so annoying. Um, right. <laughs> oh, no! I mean, is there a way? I, I have to. Like, I just have to do this. Um, right. Uh, okay, so we'll reduce his damage down to zero. He's gonna go for this. We, and now we've lost. Um, like, oh, th this game has been so annoying because now he's gonna switch to Sarah. Yeah, well played. That. Oh, we had so many chances to win, but he got lucky every time. He got lucky. Like, I should have killed his more Rex. Like, he shouldn't have gone for the certain hit there. He shouldn't have had... Like, Sarah Magnus is such a thing that is very rarely used. That... Oh, if you want to see the most unluckiest battle I've ever had, that was it right there. Oh, that was so unlucky. Okay, let's, let's give it another shot. Let's do another one. <laughs> because I just love to cause myself pain, apparently. Right, let's see what we get here. That Oh, that was so annoying. It was just like unlucky. So unlucky. Ooh, this is interesting. Ooh, I like this. Right, we got a better team, I think, objectively. Uh, although the Ankylos doesn't have any... Uh, oh, a Dio. Wow. A, a Dio with no boosts. What is going on here? Uh, as the game just went, you know what? It's okay. It's okay. Have, have a deal with no boosts. Enjoy. <laughs> that, what? Excuse me? What? Right. There you go. I think we're just getting... We're, we're getting a, a nice uh, karma here from having the most unluckiest battle. <laughs> it's just like... 50-50% chance, and I chose the wrong option every time, basically. Uh, so, I may as well just go for a big hit here. Um, I think? I think I might as well, but then again, if I go for... Uh... I'm gonna play it safe. I mean, I know he's gonna go for that, but because I'm faster anyway, I may as well if do... If I'm gonna do a hit, do a big hit, right? Um, and if I get through here, uh, he's dead, which I don't. So that's that. <laughs> it's, I mean, yeah, fair, fair dues. It was unlucky. Uh, right. So, I mean, ankylosaur, an ankylo thingy majiggy. Uh, do I just go for... I mean, he can shatter everything. I may as well just go for Referantum, if I'm honest. Uh, I could possibly get a... Um, I mean, I do 5,000 damage to him. We could nullify him. Yeah, I'll just do this. We may get lucky. You know what? I've been so unlucky. Let's see if all my luck goes into getting a stun. No! <laughs> but either way, I resist it. And uh, he can't cleanse himself. So... Yeah, he's just dead. In fact, I very, I, you know, I've used referendum so little that I didn't know that, like, by doing this, it was going to guarantee me a free kill. 
Uh, so now I know <laughs> that a really good counter for Indotaurus is Referantum. Hence the reason why it's probably being used by everybody. I'm gonna say. Uh, are we good? Yep, still recording. Great, lovely. Right, now, what's a really good counter for this guy? Uh, he does have resistance. Is actually the Ankylosaurus. So I may as well. I'm gonna swap in. Uh, you know, get the invincibility and do counters. I've seen, you know, what this thing can do against Schoonosaurus. Uh, so I may as well do it. Sod it. Yeah, you could decelerate me, but I don't care. Because I'm just going to slowly whittle you down with counters, buddy. But oh, that's right. I'm not below alert. Oh, dear. Well, anyway, there, there's some damage. <laughs> right, we do the counter there. What can I do? I don't know. I've never used this. Maybe this was not a good swap in. Um, so I just go for the hostility, I guess. I assume I've survived this one as well. Uh, more so. Yes, more so survived. I'm immune to that. So another counter. Uh, and then we go for the, uh, hostile glow. Because I think it's like a Lux creature, right? That's what we're, we're doing here. So do some damage. Put up a shield. I don't know whether this is invincibility shield. I don't think it is. Uh, so that's that. Um, and now I'm below half health. So I may as well just go for this one. Because I think I get 100% shield for two turns. So, I mean, yeah, you go for invincibility. But uh, I'm I'm going to get free invincibility for next turn. So I guess it's okay. Yeah, I mean, you can do your counter. It's going to do nothing to me. Look at this. Unboosted Ankylosaur Lux taking on a level 29 uh, boosted uh, Scoon. So if I want to now, I could just go for this. Uh, or I could go for the swap out. Um, I, I'm not quicker. So I may as well go for the swap out, right? I may as well. He's not going to do any damage to me. Uh, next turn, I will start to take damage. Again. And I don't want that to happen. So I may as well. There's a crit. Uh, we get a swap out to Referantum. Uh, which is a very good swap out. And I think... If I'm correct... Let me correct me if I'm wrong. We've won. Because then I can just go for the instant... Uh, like... Thing for it, right? The the spitty. Um, I reduce his attack anyway. Uh, he's also uh, vulnerable. So, and he doesn't have his invincibility. So, yeah. I mean, he has to swap or else he's lost, right? So, wow. Even swapping an Ankylos with no boosts against a 29 Schoon. Bear in mind, this doesn't seem like the best Schoon in the world. Oh, ho, ho, ho. it's a bear at level 28. Swap in deceleration. Very good. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Um, now, I think you might get stunned here. I'm not sure. Do you have a resistance to stun? Apparently not, but did I just get really unlucky there? Uh, God knows. Okay. So, I've never seen the bear against the ref. Is this a good matchup? It seems like it's not a good one for him. Oh, yeah. No, that's fine. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I've never fought this thing before. We can't swap out. He has... Does he have a... Can he cleanse himself? He can't! Why does anyone have the bear? Bear's rubbish. Deer's way better. <laughs> Deer could go for digging and be annoying. Right. Yeah, okay. Look at that. A 3-1 victory. That that more than makes on the Dio. The Dio alone. I don't know why. I mean, we're in Gyrosphere League. An unboost. I mean, obviously, maybe he stripped down his Dio and forgot to take it out. But I don't know. That... That was an odd battle. Very odd battle. I kind of I kind of liked it, though. <laughs> it felt good. So, anyway, guys, we'll leave it there before I end doing another battle and losing. And then doing another and winning and losing and winning. And doing, you know, just doing it all over. I'll do that in my own spare time. I don't need to waste your time with that. If you enjoyed this video, guys, leave a like. And until next time, I'll see you cuties later. Oh, bye-bye.